Happy Sunday everyone and welcome to Two Minute Sunday. This program is powered by Christ the Rock International Ministries. And everything like that. Whereas marriage and relationship is give and take, it is sacrifice. I remember when I had my marriage counseling when I was going to get married and my pastor asked me um, if I know my husband and I was like, yes, of course I know him, pastor. If I don't know him, I won't be married. I won't be getting married to him rather. And my pastor proved it to me that I know my husband to an extent, but I'm not going to know what he's going to do when, you know, different milestones, which could be negative or positive, happens in his life. Neither will he know. How is he going to know what I will do when I hit the menopause or when my child leaves home, the last child leaves home for uni or on the wedding day of one of our children? You can never really know your spouse, you know, 100%. So therefore, couples, this week, spend time to study, be a student of the person you love. Know them more. Get to spend more time, you know, talk to them more pleasant and, you know, have some time alone together. I know that I'm spending more than two minutes today because it's a special one. I want to talk about a joke I heard someone say. Um, it was written, not say, it was written on one of these WhatsApp, um, you know, captions and things they send around. And um, in my own words, it was something like a man received two texts, one from his girlfriend and one from his side chick. I'm not saying it's right to have a side chick. Please don't have side chicks, men. But it's just the idea behind the joke. So the wife was like, when are you coming home? What are you doing there? Why did you pick up my call? That was the kind of text the wife was sending to her husband. But the side chick was like, oh, how are you, dear? Have you had something to eat? Hope you've had some time, you know, to rest during your working hours. You can see the difference between what, you know, two women did. So I'm just encouraging you, this is not for a man or for a woman. It's for both. Mind your language. Mind how you talk to your spouse. Mind how you treat your spouse. Mind how you become a professor of being the one that knows everything about your spouse. Be more of a student. Be calmer. Be more of a happy person. Be more of a person that takes things easy and don't be a nagging wife. Remember, the Bible says that it is better to live alone on the rooftop than live in a house with a nagging wife. Make your home a home and not a house or a place of arguments or a war zone just for couples like i said enjoy your week as couples this week and um, do something special with one another thank you for listening and god bless you